I made it to Dallas Fort Worth and one day from the eclipse, about uh, 20, 26 hours, give or take. As you can hear, the airport noise is hot. The people are running around and a lot of people are prepared. I saw one guy with a t-shirt talking about the eclipse and everybody that's getting on the plane. The crew asked them about the eclipse. It's the biggest thing happening right now. It's super exciting and right now I can see some high, uh, gosh, are they? not serious clouds, but high strato clouds right now. And as long as it stays that thin, it should be okay. Even if it goes over a bit, I won't get a perfectly clear view of the corona but it'll still be visible and that's a critical thing it's those deep puffy cumulus clouds that wipe the view out and i'm hoping that doesn't happen one eclipse chaser i met at the breakfast at the windman here where is it right there at uh, dallas fort worth dfw airport said well if it all goes south haha then in two years you can go to spain and check it out but the whole idea of this effort is to make it check the total eclipse out and enjoy the experience because the next total eclipse to pass over the United States isn't going to be in 2045. We get a little nip at 2044 in Montana and North Dakota, but that's about it. So that's going to be 20 plus years away. So this is it, folks. If you're along the total eclipse path, take a day off work, get your kids out of school, make sure you have your total eclipse classes and go for it because this is the moment. Thank you very much, so for supporting me. Still links below available to the Total Eclipse Guides. They are an ebook. It's way too late to get the print book unless you got a local bookstore, but the ebook is still available. Check it out. Good luck.